This is Randy Rosetta with HubCPreps.com with a video edition of the KPA Confidential. I'm with three of the Lady Warrior volleyball players. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. I think they show up this way from left to right. I'm Joey Zan. I'm Kerrigan Crockett. I'm Reese Ramsey. And I promised them that this would be painless and they promised me they won't be nervous. They really didn't, but I'm going to assume that. So, girls, I hadn't talked to Coach or your teammates in a couple of weeks. You guys have really had a, a good season, I believe, eight and three in district as we sit here today. Big one coming. I think the last time I talked to you, you were getting ready to play All Saints the first time. You got a big one at home against All Saints. You guys have chopped a lot of wood, accomplished a lot of things. Well, let's start with you, Joey. What are some things you have to keep getting better at because you guys are playoff bound? Am I not joking? You're playoff bound, so now you want to start getting better as things get going. So what are some things you have to get better at these last couple of matches before the playoffs? I think we've done a really good job of being able to trust each other so far, and I think we could just expand on that even more. And our energy just keeps getting higher every game, so I think we have uh, good potential with our energy as well. Karen, you guys have won eight district games, so you've done a lot of good things in those eight. What are the things that have kind of caught your attention about what you've done well to get those to that level? I think uh, really getting our medals going um, and just working on different sets with them and then just our energy. Uh, some of the games that we've won that have been like the most fun, we've been super hyped up and just um, going crazy for every point and so just really coming together as a team um, and just being really excited for every single point. All right, Reese, you get the, the black bean question here. The other side of that is you've lost three matches. That's not anything to be worried about because you play in a really good district, but what are the things that you take from losses that you have to kind of ratchet up now? Um, I feel like some of them we just had off games, but um, I think... You can pass the baton back to Karen and get Karen in if you want. <laughs> uh, I think one thing that we've needed to work on a little bit more is just starting off strong um, and just starting the games, play our game no matter what, um, not playing up or playing down, whatever, just like always playing our game and being consistent every time. One thing I remember Coach saying a few years ago, maybe in his first or second year, that you walk into the gym against All Saints and there's a little bit of a, I don't know if intimidation is the right word or, hey, they're really good, we're going to have to, you, you kind of tighten up. Joey, how do you avoid that? Because they are really good. They are they're leading the district. They're trying to finish off an undefeated district season. But how do you just come in and just play your game and let that speak for itself? Um, I think especially with All Saints, they've led the district for many years at this point. So just like not letting that go to your head and like knowing that they are good you need to play 10 times as good as you have been. And I feel like that's really important is we know they're good, so we're going to prepare 10 times harder. And then going into that, we should know we're leaving everything on the court. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid you want to take something from it, win or lose, Kerrigan, because you're getting close to the playoffs. You're going to face teams like All Saints, as good as All Saints, maybe even better than All Saints. How important is it to get better against All Saints on Friday to take that moving forward. It's super important and I think we've gone back and watched other film and seen how much we've grown from game to game and just um, whether we win or lose, just looking at what we did good, say okay we're gonna we're gonna keep doing that, what we did bad and say okay we can fix this for the next game and get even better every single game. So Reese, last year I know I talked to a couple of your teammates, things didn't go the way you guys wanted. Mm -hmm. It didn't end the way you wanted in particular. Why has this been so much better this year? Why have you guys flipped the page on that? I feel like we have like worked together a lot better as a team and instead of like each person having their like highs and lows like we've worked together and like the team will work hard and get good things and it's not like one person messing up it's everyone messing up and then like whenever one person gets a kill it's everyone getting like, that kill. And a couple of weeks ago when I talked to Lily in Brooklyn I think they, they talked about how you guys had learned to play together a little bit better because Lily's a really good player. Sometimes when you have a player that good, you almost lean too much. How, Kerrigan, how different has it been this year to for everybody to find their niche and to kind of contribute in different ways? Um, I think it's just all of us, like you said, our middles 
going for every single wall, like killing every single wall, um, or just us, like especially as wings, just working on trying not to rely on her every single wall in defense. Um, and that's I think that's still been a little bit of a struggle, but it has gotten so much better. All right, Joe, you get the last one. So you played, you've played all Saints once. You played Saint Jack twice, correct? Yes, sir. You play all Saints one more time. Taps is that we get to that funky time of playoffs where you can do really well, and you're, you may see one of those two teams, maybe both of them, again fairly quick. How much better do you guys have to get starting Friday to have that chance to get when you get into the playoffs to play them again and maybe keep moving on? I think we have the tools that we need as of right now. I think it's just applying them to the game that we need to uh, be more aware of and like not just being like, oh, it's a b missed point, like, oh, well, it needs to, you need to take that to heart, but also don't get too worked up about it because I feel like a lot of the games we've been in our heads when we're playing them and we just need to let the next ball come over. All right, Reese, you only got the answer too. Do you want to throw anything else in? I think I'm good. Well, you're tapping out. Okay. That's been the KPA Confidential. This is Randy Rosetta with HubCityPreps.com.